Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for touchhero.com. Today, you're going to be reviewing an app called Splash ID. Now, I'm, I'm a big, big fan of this app. I have been using this app since I had my, uh, my Palm Pilot back then, a few years ago. And they kept going with other platforms. So now I have the same app in my iPad. And what is this app about? It's about storing passwords, storing secure information. You know, uh, at this day and age, we have a lot of passwords for different sites, for different things. Sometimes we tend to try to use the same password all over. But with this app, what you can actually do, you can have a repository, a, a, a safe place to store your passwords, to store all those 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 passwords then what you can do is you can buy the the ipad uh, app actually let's get started here when we first load the app by the way the app costs um 9.95 so and there is a there's a desktop version of that app as well which for windows costs 19.95 and i think there is a there is a, a version for mac as well so you can sync the desktop with uh, either your iPad and iPhone. So let's just go here and have a look at it. Three, four, I'm gonna unlock it. This is this is actually the only password that you're gonna need. You need to know the password that you put to be able to load the Splash ID app. So from here, there is a bunch of examples and this is again, just test data. This is not real uh, secure data. It's just test sample data you have on the left side a list of, of all the entries that you have on the application. Then what you can do is you can, to add a new one, you just click on the plus at the top and then you can say, you know what, this is about, this is a bank account. And I can call it bank and then I can say there is a category. I can, I can change those categories. I can put any category that I want and there is a way to manage that. I'm just going to but that personal and other type, we have, uh, the app has already uh, a bunch of predefined types. Now, when you select different types, you're gonna see different fields listed here. You see, emergency info. Let's see, uh, websites. You see, there's a web login, so you can see username, password, URL. So for different types, you can, you're gonna see different fields there. And you can create your own types as well. So I'm just going to cancel this for a second. And if you go to tools, you can see under edit, you can see that uh, you can edit categories, you can edit types, you can delete records. So let's have a look at edit categories. So there's just two right now, business personal. Let's say that I want to create a new one, click add category. This is a new category. Let's just save this. So here we have a new category. We can also go back and create a new type. So again, those types are pre-established, are predefined. They come with the app. Now you can always create more types. You can say edit. Well, actually, edit will change. Not going to do that. I'm just going to click add new type, and then I, we can define for the new type. If you have any specific needs, you can define it yourself. You can say. You know, field one should be should be name, should be address, should be whatever you want it to be. Okay, so we are creating a new type. Now, this is how you create a new type. Going back here to the beginning. The other thing that's interesting in this app is that you can have multiple people using the same app. You can have multiple users. But I just want to show that there is a, this sync option. If you are... Uh, on your wireless network with your iPads and, and it's part of the same network that your desktop is on, you can you can click on sync and your computer should show up here. Right now, it's not showing because my on my desktop, the Splash ID app is not loaded. Once I load it, and I'll do that right now, once I have it loaded, Now, as you can see, I have the app loaded in my Windows desktop. Now I can see, select desktop to sync, 
it's showing the in here. This is the name of my desktop. I can just click on it and I can say start sync. You can see when was last time that you did a synchronization. So I'm just gonna press start sync. It's syncing, now syncing is done. And whatever was done in the desktop is back to the, to the iPad. Whatever was done in the iPad is back now to the desktop. So it's synchronized both ways. Okay, so um, that's, that's it pretty much. Um, great app to store passwords. Again, the only, the only password that you're gonna be needing to remember is your iPad password and the password that you set on your Splash ID. So great app, highly recommended. Thank you very much and bye for now.